I'd like to point out some colors in this video. Some of you may remember this is a King Kong Black Parrot that we got from Sabrina and uh, Scott. Sabrina had him for 8 years and Scott had him for 2 or 3 years. So he's about 11 years old. And when he came to us he was really red, bright red, because he was in the pond outside in full sun. And uh, over the couple of months that he's been here, he got pretty pale because we have no sunlight here and no strong artificial light either. And you can see how bright are the new blood parrots that came from Greg two days ago. Because they were under strong light, artificial light, and also it's a covered lanai with a roof, with a hard roof, but it did, it did have some indirect sunlight. have real nice colors. I wanted to show the same with the peacock bass. Our two peacock bass, Azul and uh, an unknown one, maybe a mutt. These two guys are pretty drab. The colors are not bright at all. All the colors on the, on the new guys are very bright. From Greg. The Azul and the Mutt we have had for, uh, for about a year now. And these three peacocks came from uh, Greg two days ago again. They have very nice colors, much, much, much brighter, yellows and greens and everything. Again, I attribute this to to the lighting. Greg fed him a Missouri. I don't know, maybe it's much better for color than New Life Spectrum or anything else. The female is not as bright, but still. Even she's brighter than that uh, mud over there. Plus, they've been only here three days now, so they're a bit stressed still. Probably should have shot it in the, during the day to show you their colors a little better. Try and shoot it tomorrow during the day and add it to this video. Let's promise some daylight shots. It's kind of overcast, so we don't have a bright light. I don't think it's going to look that much different, but we'll see on, on screen if it looks any different. I'm showcasing the same difference between the fish living in a dim tank and uh, fish living in bright tanks. These were the blood parrots. And the next are the peacocks. Peacocks ate today for the first time, so that was great. Greg had them trained on pellets, so they ate the first pellets today, giant NLS. Greg had them on Missouri. Some of them are still laying around, I have to clean them up. That's the new, that's the old guys who are pale. And the two new ones, especially the males, are very bright. The female is pretty pale too. But the males are very bright.